Hey guys, today I'm going to read Ferocious Wild Beasts. A bear was strolling in the forest one day when he met a small boy sitting on a tree stump looking rather glum. What's the matter? asked the bear. I'm lost, sniffed the boy, and I'm in terrible trouble. Dear me, why is that? inquired the bear. Because my mum said I must never go into the forest, replied the boy. But I did, and now I'm lost. Don't worry, said the bear with a laugh. I'll soon show you the way out. The forest isn't so bad, you know. It is... It is, declared the boy. My mum said the forest is full of ferocious wild beasts. Really? said the bear. It is. What are they like? They're all hairy, replied the boy, and they hide in the shadows, and then they pounce on you and gobble you up. Do they? Uh. Do they gobble up bears too? asked the nervous bear. Of course, replied the boy. They gobble up everything. The boy peered fearfully into the shadows between the trees. I think we'd better go, he said. They had not gone far when they met an elephant having a snack. Anyone for a banana? asked the elephant. You'd better watch out, elephant, advised the bear. There's This young man tells me that there are ferocious wild beasts on the loose. Oh dear, said the bear, D said the elephant, dropping his banana. Are they very wild? The wildest beasts ever, said the boy. They're so big and could step on you and squish you just like that. But uh, they couldn't squish an elephant, could they? Asked the elephant. Easily, replied the boy. Oh, crumbs, gulped the elephant. Uh, you don't mind if I tag along with you, do you? As soon and soon all three were chirping through the forest. Before long they met a lion, sunbathing on a rock. Sit down, sit down and enjoy the sun, said the lion with a flick of his tail. Not likely, replied the bear. Don't you know, there are ferocious wild beasts about. Are there? gulped the lion. How ferocious! The most ferocious type of all, declared the boy, and they have sharp claws, big teeth, and can bite your head off in a second. Yikes, replied the lion. But they couldn't do that to a lion, could they? I think they like eating lions the best, replied the boy. Oh, help! whimpered the lion, his mane all standing on end. You wouldn't mind if I come along with you, would you? So, so off they went, tiptoeing through the forest, and soon they met a crocodile and a wolf and a python. Now the sun was sinking. The night time is, in, is when the ferocious wild beasts come out to hunt, said the boy. Just then they heard a sound like the sound of a terrible beast stomping through the undergrowth. Then they saw a flicker, a light flickering through the tree trunks, like a great glowing eye. And then they heard a wild roar echoing through the forest.
and they all ran for their lives. Well, except for the small boy who was the bravest. He crept forward and saw that it wasn't a ferocious wild beast at all. It was something much worse. It was a ferocious wild mum. Jack, Jack, she roared. Where are you, you naughty boy? There you are, she sighed. Didn't I tell you never to go in the forest? Didn't I tell you about all the ferocious wild beasts? But mum, Jack protested, I didn't see any ferocious wild beasts. The end. Hope you enjoyed, guys.